So the second thread start 180 degrees off from the other first one? Should. Yeah. Well, I'm back over here getting ready to do a test piece of threading for that, uh, the nut we're making. This is a little test piece, and I was almost through with it, and I got talking to the damn camera, and I forgot to back out before I pulled it back. So I messed it up, and I threw my things off a little bit. So I'm going to show you this once without doing it, then maybe let you just look while I concentrate on what I'm doing. This is the setup. I've got a test piece in here that's already bored for the correct diameter of that shaft. Got a small chamfer on it so it starts easier. Got a left-handed Acme 4 thread per inch insert and a half inch carbide bar. And the reason I'm using such a small bar is I can only get it in that bore. That's the only tooling. Now, I like using left-handed bars for doing left-handed threads. The reason is I can see what's going on. It's more like regular threading to you. You, you know, you're just, you just, you could save money. You could turn the bits upside down and start in the back and come out and all that. I just like doing it this way. So, set up. This is turned 90 degrees. I've got an indicator on it and I start threading on this to zero and I do a little depth and then I will advance it 250 thousandths of an inch and then go to the same depth on the other internal thread. And then I go back and forth, back and forth through it. It's pretty easy to move. You keep it locked down on the back side. And with this, it keeps you where you need to go. This dial goes straight in for the depth. It's a bastard size thread, so the measurements of it, it's just really, I'm just making it towards an interference fit and trial and error. Uh, I have to go down about 285 right now to get to that bottom of that thread. But that's what we're doing. So now Don's come down to bug me some now. No, I'm finished. You're, you finished your roof? Yep. Completely? Completely. That's total. Total? Mm -hmm. Well. Did you get the nuts fit on this one? Do I what? Did you get the nuts fit on this one? There you are. He's hiding back there. He didn't want to break my camera. Did you get the nut? Yeah, I did, and then I got to talk to the camera and forgot to back it out before it came out. It doesn't fit yet. So, but I'm almost there. Almost there. Why'd you take it out? Because I screwed up. Whoa! Hey, mark that down. You don't say that often. I say it all the time. Not to the camera. <laughs> Let me see. So it's close. Yeah, I do. Close, but no cigar. Well, it. When you go in, guys, I'll show you. You know, you're advancing to go in to cut the thread. So when you get over here, you got to back it out to come out. Yeah. Well, I got to talk to the you camera, the and, and I. Didn't take it out. I just oh, kept on going. Gotcha. And I heard his crack. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm really close on this one. And the technique's mm -hmm. down. So what mm -hmm. we're going to do is we're going to. Uh, right, another one? Well, this is my other test. We're getting close. So I'm going to bring this yeah, one. Yeah, it, it started a little bit. Yeah. yeah, that's what I say. I'm close. Mm -hmm. So. Instead of putting the variable of maybe knocking this bar out a little bit. Turn the camera off, do your job, then you turn it back on. Yes, sir. That's why I'm telling <laughs> them what I'm doing. I'm not going to talk to them anymore. Mm. Yeah. All right. Well, no, I mean, it, it, that was working, so it's, it's a good thing. Yeah, it works. It's just it's a good thing. 
this mold south bin, I could do this without having to go back and forth. You don't have to do a south bin. I know. I kicked myself in the butt for selling that machine. I had it for 34 years. Get it. Obviously. If I ever get the chance to get another one, I will. So you start all over again? Well, no, we're not starting all over again. We're just we're just going to make another nut. We're going to go in here and dial it up and make sure everything dipped it on the zero. Why, why do you get the bar? I'm just curious. Why do you get the bar sticking so far out if you don't have that sticking so far out? Hey, it does have to be that far out to do the nut. The real nut is this oh, far, yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's got to be out. Yeah. And if I shorten it up, yeah. it's not a good test. I'm not I really guess. shortening up anything because the way this yeah. bar is made. I was just looking at, I was looking at that one, thinking, I was, yeah. Okay. You've got to be always one step ahead. All right, I'm going to zero this up, get this all set. Okay. Where'd that little can of acetone go? Mm -hmm. That was out of acetone. Well, there was a can of something here. I know what it was. I got the carburetor cleaner. Mm -hmm. Cleaned off my marking.
It's not. So by getting a double start, you just move it half the distance in, and it automatically starts at the right spot. Half the distance between the two threads. Okay. I go a little deeper. Says I need to, just to get to the outside bore of that. I need to go eighty-five thousand. So I divide that in half. So that's forty-two and a half thousandths. So forty-two and a half to get to the outside. Then I can start test fitting. All right, let's go. You know, we could just make this out of aluminum. We don't need that bronze. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I was watching these guys. I don't know where they were. They were making barrel uh, bushings for piston rod mm -hmm. connecting rods. Pour them out of aluminum. Yeah, it's almost starting. Yep, we're there. Let's take some more. All right. The reason why I wanted the nut, I remember the nut was cut pretty pretty good on the face, you know? Where it started, Yeah. it was cut pretty good. It's just starting to look like the nut now, so good. You know, there's an old saying, great minds think alike. Mm -hmm. You and I were arguing on the phone yesterday about that big asshole under SpaceX's mm -hmm. launch pad. And what did I say it needed? Yeah, they said they were going to do that, but a plate would cool it. Well, they, yeah, they'd already talked about that, though. They talked about that about two months ago when they got the, uh, the water stuff from, they shipped it from... Uh, I told them about it eight months ago. Mm -hmm. Let me see the email. The proof. It'd be time stamped. Time damp, damp. They, they dug a big ass hole in there. I don't have that stamp for you, sir. They dug That's what I always said they needed. All right. Let's go some more. I don't think it's level or not. Level. Keep them down. Went a little deeper there. It's so close. 
I think you just got to go to full depth of that bar. Well, you, you do almost, but... It's pretty almost there. Well, but now we're into the point of we don't know if this is yeah. level enough or what. Yeah. So we need to play with this because... Yeah. Um, see, just by turning it, we're making it go in. Uh, wiggling it. You pick it up a little more. There we go. Hold on, it was too low. Okay. I picked it up on this end a little bit. It's too high. Too low one. It's either one, too it, high or too low. It started low. up. Oh, it's in there. It's almost all the way up, through. See if I kind of pick this up a little bit. It seems like. I think that's close enough probably to maybe take it off, see how it fits? Because you're so close, you know it's going to be at least that or a little bigger, right? Yeah. I'll buy that. We can really see how it fits there if it's too little tight. You know? a little tight. Maybe you may have some crap in there still. Hey, you tell them what it is. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, that's what I'd rather it be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's too tight and too big. And still got crap coming out of the thread there. Much oil on my hands. Okay, sir, so give me a pair of channel locks. Clean that out, but it was on there a good yeah. inch. If that's not it, it's very, very close. It threaded, that's the important thing, right? I think it's pretty good. So, I'm going to sit in. Two notes. I think we're ready for this piece now. Yeah. Proof of concept. Got it. Got a test piece done <coughs> with two starts, not one. One, two. One, two. two. That's a tough hole to thread because it's internal and it's going to be three inches deep. 
you got to have a board bar that you can get in there with. And that's about the biggest one they make, or the, the smallest, longest one they make to make that nut. Mm -hmm. But it works. Mm -hmm. If we went thousands off of that one, it fit good. Yeah. Well, now I know where to go to in depth. So you can pretty much. So do I it. can dial it in pretty close. Pretty and much then cut just, the whole thing to that depth plus a little bit, and you should be ready to test. Well, I'll cut this twenty thousandths under it, and then I'll sneak up on it. Yeah. Cool. Been a long week. Is it? Every week long. Every week long. Yeah, but some of them go easier than the others. Yeah, sometimes. You don't have play practice till 11 o'clock every night. You got to go to the night too? Or is it just tomorrow? You have to be there tomorrow. But we'll be back to normal video schedule as soon as I get through this play. Maybe. Sometimes it's nice not having to make a video. Yeah, I bet. You have to spend six hours a night. Sometimes it's nice. That'll work. All right. You feel better? Okay. You feel better. That's all I care about. Here so a lot better once that brass nut is cut. That's next. I do it today, but I gotta take my wife to dinner. Yeah, I'll do what you gotta do. But as soon as we put the threads in here, we will. You banged it up again. This fits so tight. Fits though. There. And it's got a snap ring groove on each side. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to take this little dude. We're going to cut the wall well in it. See that oil well comes all the way to this edge. Yeah, we're going to 45. The original one. We'll cut this down like that, and that in there. Drill a hole in here for the wall to leak into. Thread those two there. You do new. Bob's your uncle. Stupid things I have over the years to have to buy, you know. Yeah. Carbide. Good, good that you have them. But it's good that I have them. It's good that you have them. Or you'd be broke by now. Hmm. Okay. Sounds good, Steve. I'm going to wrap this video up. I'm tired. You don't have any more witty sayings or anything, do you? Nah, I'm done. None. Finally wore you down where you're speechless. I think the roof wore me down. The roof did. <laughs> well, I can go home now. I sit there and watch that subscription counter. They're, they're trying to drive me crazy. Trying to drive me crazy. I know you guys are. Uh, it'll be at 10,000 real soon. Yeah. Three a week. Three a week. Three a week. Three a week. At least going in the right direction, I guess. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take this part and clean it. Shouldn't take long to put that on. Mm -hmm. Should work. That was the one that was on the other 16 that uh, got wrecked. Yeah. 
My mommy holes probably won't line up if it's smaller. Plus some holes. It'll work. It'll work. Okay, I'm gone.